My friend Sheldon is uh, building a tricopter and right now he's in the process of flashing or reprogramming the ESC for his tricopter. So I asked him to uh, show me on video what the uh, hardware and software he's using to do this. This particular speed controller is a Hobby King F20A. It's really made for airplanes, not so much multi-rotors. And these are essentially little mini computers. They have programming built into them. And this one is programmed to send power to the motors in a very smooth manner. So if you were to move your throttle rapidly back and forth, um, it would kind of average those changes out to the motor so that it does not spin so fast or doesn't slow down so fast. Now, because it's made for an airplane, the programming doesn't quite work for a multi-rotor. Multi-rotors um, need to quickly adjust their altitude and their attitude um, uh, very quickly, and you need to have it make those minute corrections. Supposing you fly on a windy day, or if you're making some very um, acrobatic maneuvers, you really want your speed controller to um, send as much uh, uh, signal to the motors as quickly as possible. So what we want to do is we want to change the programming on the speed controller. And this is what we call flashing. We take the existing software that's on the speed controller and replace it with something that's more appropriate to the um, activity that we're trying to do. In this case, the, the multi-rotor, which demands a faster response time. Not all speed controllers can be flashed. But the ones that can be flashed all feature the Atmel, that's the manufacturer of the microcontroller, and the product is called the Atmega 8 microcontroller. And this is essentially a little uh, mini computer. It has its own built-in memory and its own processor. And so any ESC that features this particular processor can be flashed. Now, you can go to the Hobby King site. Uh, it likely won't tell you that it has an Atmega chip. Um, but there is a list that you can consult uh, that features all the Hobby King models that can be flashed, Turnigy, uh, and several other brands. And by consulting that list, you can determine before you purchase your ESC whether it can in fact be flashed. In order to program the chip on the back of the speed controller, we need what's called a USB ASP programmer. What this does is it will essentially take the code or the flash code uh, and convert it in such a way that we can actually reprogram the chip on the speed controller. These things run about 10 to 12 dollars and they can be either purchased on eBay or through Hobby King or um, probably several other uh, hobby sites. Now the pins on the chip themselves um, they're very small uh, you can build your own tool that will contact particular pins on the uh, Atmel chip. However, for 10 bucks, you can actually get a ready-made cable that features uh, specific pins here that will contact the correct pins on the uh, actual Atmel chip. This way we don't have to uh, worry about either damaging or cross-short-circuiting anything on this. So for 10 bucks, this is the way to go. So when you use this uh, programming socket tool, you'll notice that there's a little dot on the corner. It's very important that when this is aligned with the chip, that this dot corresponds with the dot on the corner of the chip over here. So we'll want to orientate the tool so that when it covers it, this dot and this dot here are lined up correctly. This will ensure that the correct pins are contacting. 